Welcome to Last Call. I'm Carson Daly. Later, we're going to hang with actress Bridget Moynihan from the new movie, The Sum of All Fears. But now our first guest is a critically acclaimed singer-songwriter's debut album, Music for the Morning After. Very well received and is an awesome album. Now we're going to chat about sports. Say hi to Pete Yorn, everybody. <laughs> What's up, dude? Great to meet you. Good to meet you, too. What's going on? Nothing. You're man. a Raiders fan. I'm a big Raiders How fan. How does it get from Jersey into being a Raiders fan? Um, I had old, I still do have older brothers, but they're much older than me, and I think one of the oldest one, he got to grow up uh, being a 70s Raiders fan. He loved Ken Stabler and everything like that, and me being like the little kid around the house, I just kind of followed them and got into it as well. I'm still pissed off about that call. Dude. Did you watch that last game? I was in, I was in London, and I had to go to a sports bar to watch it, and there was like a crazy line outside, I had to sneak in, and I was like the only Raider fan there, and I almost got, you know, the crap kicked out of me right. a couple times. And uh, I just, you know, I, I don't really like talking about it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Pisses me off, too. Is it possible to, I guess, you know, have such a love for music growing up in Jersey and, and not be a Springsteen fan? I wasn't a Springsteen fan when I was younger because it was too close to home, I think, and I don't want to rebel against it. Really? Everyone was like, Springsteen, Springsteen. They were born to run at every prom right. and everything, and I was just like... What were you into? I was into, like, uh, well, first I was into Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and uh, Dokken, and kind of metal and stuff like that, and then I got into... The Smiths and uh, The Cure and Joy Division and all that kind of Brit romantic music. Right. And, uh, and then I got into, later on, Springsteen. You play drums on every track of your record? Yeah. How long, when did you make the crossover from, from drums? Um, I, just, I don't think I really have still. I mean, I play, still, I play guitar. Do you do it on your show? Do you jump back behind the kit? No, I didn't, I didn't do it on this tour yet, but I played, I played drums for the opening band uh, we played with the band last night, and they. I played drums for them. Who's the opening band? Uh, a band called Jukebox Junkies, a friend of mine, and uh, this other band called Sloan. And after I, after I played with Jukebox Junkies, the guys in Sloan said that I could play drums with them, which would be a dream because they're uh, one of my cool. favorite bands. This is crazy. I mean, you won the the Les Paul Horizon Award for most promising up and coming guitarist of the year, which is not bad for a drummer. <laughs> tell everybody who you beat out in that. Uh, I beat, do you want me to say Madonna? Yeah. I beat was she Madonna. up for that? I don't get that. Madonna was up for the most promising, most uh, promising new up guitar and guitar player. Yeah. Uh, I think, I guess she, I don't know, I was like, well, I didn't understand it either, but it, supposedly she learned guitar for the last record and played on the last tour, and right. I don't know. I don't know if it was a joke or not, but I, I beat her anyway, so good. <laughs> you are going to do um, a, a Bowie cover for us now. What, what is it about Bowie for you? Um, well, I, I, I always like Bowie's version of China Girl, but I, uh, the song didn't really totally hit me until I heard Iggy Pop's version, <laughs> which is on a, a record called The Idiot. And uh, I don't know, I heard it like two years ago and I was just blown away by it. It's a totally different vibe. It's more like the way we play it. And uh, I think Iggy actually wrote it. But um, I don't know, I heard Iggy's version and it blew me away. Right, and what's Bowie doing for you this summer? He's got you doing something. Yeah, Bowie is hosting this uh, show in London called Meltdown, and he picked he picked the bands who are going to be on the bill. It's like a series of shows, and he picked us and Coldplay to oh, play together. Oh, that's awesome. So, and I love Bowie. So yeah, great. Yeah. All right. I'm going to strap on your guitar. 